is up guys, RH Nisker coming to talk to you about archetypes. Now in my previous video, if you haven't seen it, I spoke briefly about archetypes and Konami releasing new support for older archetypes and how it made a big impact with the latest Volcanic deck since it seems like they finally got support cards right. Now Konami has a long history of trying to bring back old archetypes or old decks by releasing new support cards and we've seen that they've been inconsistent in the results on how big of an impact these decks actually make once they're reborn. I mentioned in my previous video that decks like Evils and Kwaki Meru's got new support but they just weren't there yet. And it makes me kind of think, why does Konami have trouble giving some archetypes good support? We know from past releases of support cards, Konami doesn't have a lot of trouble releasing broken cards. You guys may remember from a couple formats back. But there are instances where Konami releases a card for an old archetype that people used to love and people are excited to play this new archetype and excited that new support is released, but then it just, it just can't compete. It's just not fully good enough to compete. So it makes me think about how archetypes have evolved with the game, because this game is evolving, whether it's for the better or the worse, this game is evolving. We see the evolution of this game in things like Rituals, then Synchros came, now we have Exceed Monsters, and then finally, we finally got Pendulums, which are like the newest mechanic of Yu-Gi-Oh! that seems to be very different from a lot of other games. Whether it's for the better or the worse, that's a whole different story. But nonetheless, this game is evolving and changing, and it bears the question, can old archetypes compete or be relevant in any sense, no matter what type of support they get in these newer formats? Let's take a look at this example with Kwaki Marus. Kwaki Marus were an interestingly and not a greatly designed archetype, because they all rely and revolve around a single card Iron Core of Kwaki Maru, which is pretty much the deck's main win condition. You can't do many broken things in that deck, or any really broken things in that deck for that matter, without Iron Core of Kwaki Maru. Now it's hard to release support cards for an archetype that has pretty much just been surrounded and revolved around this one card without totally removing the essence of how the archetype works, because if they make cards that don't rely or aren't based on the same I guess conditions that these cards in the past revolve around, then are they really supporting the archetype or are they just creating a sub archetype or a sub genre or just a completely new archetype? That's why when you compare an archetype like this to an archetype like Burning Abyss, you can really see why this deck will never ever be able to be competitive unless something drastically changes or a huge support card is given. That's why if Konami wants decks like these to actually have a chance at being reborn and rethrown into the meta, just as, you know, like a tier 2 deck, something fun that someone can magically top with out of nowhere that a really good player can top with, I don't know, something. Then they have to give it something relevant. For example, the best option right now, in my opinion, for a Quacky Mayor support would be some sort of Pendulum card that would act as either a searcher or a substitute that says this card, while it's based up on the field, can be treated as like Diamond Core, Iron Core of Quacky Mare. Something that can make the deck consistent, where they don't have to rely on this resource, that in order to reuse this resource, like Iron Quacky Mare, Iron Core of fuck. Like Iron Core of Quacky Mare, they need to make it reusable. And I don't mean reusable like sacrificing your draw for your turn, because that's like that's not gonna get you anywhere. So they need something continuous, they need something like a Pendulum, something like a Scout. Something where they can have a resource that they don't really need that much, for example like their life points, not a one for one card that doesn't allow you to draw and doesn't actually do anything, you just discard it. So that's my view on past archetypes and how they can be incorporated into the current game state. Let me know what you guys think of these latest support cards, what do you guys think of past support cards and how do you guys think that these old archetypes can actually be relevant again? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, while you're down there, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it if you like it, subscribe if you haven't, and of course, I thank you guys again for tuning in. I'm Arch Nisker, and I will see you guys next time. Now, it's hard to release support cards for...